Hello, person. So, it's important for a video game to have a hook. Something that catches you as a player, makes you want to play that game. And with Songbringer, one of the things was its, its visual style, its pixel art style. So the goal for Wraithbinder was to create a 3D voxel art engine that was inspired by the 2D pixel art of Songbringer. So one thing that really helps to convey that 3D pixel art hook is to rotate the camera while you're playing. But when you're playing, sometimes you don't realize that you can rotate the camera. So Wraithbinder just does a little camera rotation at the beginning every time you play. There's some camera motion blur. Let's go on a little journey together and look at all the things that made this camera rotation look better and really convey that 3D pixel art hook. So this right here is what it used to look like before it did a camera rotation at the beginning. This is what the rotation itself used to look like. Here we see a first attempt at rotating the camera when you initially load into a new world. But there were several problems with that. Namely, the uh, rotation is very, very slow frame rate, so it looks really choppy. Now here we have some motion blur happening when we rotate the camera. It really smooths things out a bit and helps to kind of make it look a little bit less like there's choppy 45 and 90 degree angles on all of the objects in the world. In this build, there's some code fix so you can hold down the button and rotate forever. And here's where we start to really get some good performance out of the, the rotation. We can hold down the button and still get 20 to 30 frames per second. And I'll tell you, this thing's doing a lot of work to crunch all these voxels. Now this time we've solved an issue where objects used to just pop into existence when you did the camera rotation. Now it knows which objects should be there. Here we've got some shader improvements that really make uh, things easier on the eyes. The actual hue for the voxels matches the background color a little bit better and is using a lighter tone. And now we have a much smoother camera rotation and motion blur effect going on. The center of the rotation is right around the player and the motion blur effect itself is much smoother. This one has the motion blur effect happening in a higher level shader. So basically the whole screen gets blurred. You can see that even the bobbles at the bottom are blurring as we rotate the camera. Now here is a subtle one. So I've slowed down time in the video game to show you exactly what's going on here. There's a little bit of easing going on when you rotate the camera. So at first it starts off a little bit slowly and ends slowly and in the middle it goes quicker which is basically it's just taking a sine curve and applying it to the rotation so the sine wave goes in and out and smooths it so the camera rotation now is looking even smoother in this step the ground and the pillars and the stairs all have a cleaner look to them just looks a lot better at the 45 degree angles and the 90 degree angles too this one here is using a bit of a threshold effect to make the clouds look a bit crispier. Now in this step, we have overall the background color showing through the, the ground and the other voxels a little bit more. So it's easier on the eyes. You can separate what's background and what's foreground a lot easier with these this hue, this background hue bleeding through into the other voxels of the on the screen here at last we finally have everything looking almost like it's perfectly 360 degree rotated you see watch this little base in the middle this little thing that goes up and down as i walk over it see how when you rotate the camera it rotates 360 degrees just one revision ago, we had things snapping to 90 degree angles. Behold, how much more pleasing to the eye it is to see the object in the center of the screen rotated at one degree increments instead of 90. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah! 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 Okay, that's enough yes. And finally, we have one more improvement to the game's three-dimensional pixel art hook. And that is to see the the voxels blurred at a certain focus depth. So as you see, as the character moves around, what's near them is completely in focus. And what's in the background, what's farther away, is blurred. And this applies to not only the objects near the player, but also to the clouds. So it gives the whole screen sort of a, a tilt shift effect, as in the photography technique. So that wraps it up. Thanks a lot for watching this video, person.